Hi everyone. Welcome to Frappe School. My name is Lynette Sharon and this is the third chapter in our healthcare management course. Today we will be discussing consultation management in ERP next. By the end of this chapter you will know creating patient encounter records, recording vital signs, recording symptoms and diagnosis, treatment plans and clinical procedures. Patient and healthcare practitioners encounter is the most important activity of healthcare providers. This consulting needs to be set up by making sure all the relevant information is made available to both parties. Providing a consolidated view of the daily schedule of patient encounters will help practitioners to prepare for the day. Scheduling the usage of service units like consultation and nursing rooms improves both patient and practitioner experience. Vital signs of a patient need to be recorded as this will help practitioners assess the patient's condition. The symptoms and diagnosis need to be recorded. Further, the treatment plans, clinical procedures and lab tests recommended need to be communicated to relevant parties. Let's see consultation management in action in ERP next. Blake Smith has registered himself as a patient since he was having an ailment. The practitioner will now consult him with a further course of action. It's quite possible that some lab tests may be required or if it's a critical diagnosis Blake will have to be admitted to the hospital all of this will depend on what the consultation is recommended in ERP next we can streamline this entire process let's see how it can be done appointment type allows you to predefine the duration of the appointment specify whether it's inpatient and set colors to differentiate between different appointment types for analysis let's navigate to the appointment type list click on the new appointment type button to proceed first we enter the name of the type the is inpatient checkbox is ticked if the appointments created under this type will be used for inpatient department care Set the default duration and choose a color for each appointment type. Moving forward, let's add the billing details. We need to select the appropriate price list. Then, click on Add Row and select the medical department. We will then select the outpatient consulting charge item and inpatient visit charge item. which will fetch the charges based on the price list selected once you've added all your details you can click on save when a patient wants to consult a practitioner it is necessary to book a prior appointment since it helps manage the patient as well as the practitioner's time efficiently In order to create a patient appointment manually in our healthcare system we can use the following steps navigate to patient appointment list and click on new first select the patient for which you want to set up an appointment the patient details will be auto fetched we can select the appointment type and the duration Note that selecting the appointment type will automatically set the duration of the appointment as configured in the appointment type. This will allow us to override the duration of appointments set by the practitioner schedule and the time slots will adjust to the next available time automatically. Then click on the check availability button. It will allow us to select the medical department, health practitioner and date for which the appointment is to be booked on selecting the details all the available time slots for the practitioner will be fetched from the practitioner schedule and displayed with status indicators for the selected date we can select a time slot and hit book 
वंस बुक्ड द स्कड्यूल टाइम ऑफ द अपॉइंटमेंट एज पर द प्रैक्टिशनर एंड अप्रोप्रिएट स्टेटस विल बी सेट इन द डॉक्यूमेंट अ क्लिनिकल प्रोसीजर इज एनी प्रैक्टिस ऑफ अ हेल्थ प्रैक्टिशनर दैट इन्वॉल्व अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ स्पेशल स्किल्स और अबिलिटीज and may require medicines devices or both we can create templates so that you don't have to enter the consumables rates and linked items every time we create a clinical procedure for a patient let's navigate to the template list and add a new one enter a unique name for the template The clinical procedure template automatically creates an item linked to it for billing purposes. So, enter an item code, item group and description for the item. Select the medical department for which the clinical procedures will be conducted. Check the is billable checkbox if we want to bill the procedure like an opd consultation or follow up if we check this we set a rate for the procedure we may not want to bill procedures like wound cleaning add a row and click on edit select the relevant item details if the invoice consumable separately option is checked the charges for the consumable items will be added to the sales invoice separately in addition to the billing rate of the procedure we can also enable sample collection for a clinical procedure if applicable once all the details are added click on save now that we have created a clinical procedure template we can create a separate clinical procedure manually Let's navigate to the clinical procedure list from the awesome bar. Select a naming series for the procedure. Select a procedure template. The warehouse, medical department and consumables will be fetched automatically. If we have created an appointment for the clinical procedure, we can select the appointment. It will fetch the procedure template, patient, start date and time etc automatically. enter or edit details of consumables in the consumable section select a service unit if it is not set and the procedure will be conducted in that unit if some samples will be collected during or after the clinical procedure create a sample collection document and link it finally save and submit first let's see how to create a vital signs record we can navigate from home to healthcare domain and click on vital signs under the consultation section next click on add vital signs select the patient and the time next we can enter details of the vital signs like body temperature heart rate or pulse respiratory rate and blood pressure further the observations on the tongue abdomen and reflexes can be entered Additional observations can also be entered in notes. The details of the height and weight of the patient can be entered in the nutrition values section. The body mass index or the BMI of the patient is also calculated automatically. Vital signs can also be created from patient appointment and patient encounter records.
A patient encounter means professional contact between a practitioner and a patient, whether an admission, consultation, diagnostic, operative, or invasive procedure at the hospital. Since this is a very important interaction, we will need to record every encounter with patients through the patient encounter document. Let's see how we can create a patient encounter record. We can navigate to the healthcare domain and click on patient encounter under the consultation section. Next, click on add patient encounter. Select the patient, the healthcare practitioner and enter the encounter date and encounter time. If the patient has booked an appointment, the same can be selected. Next, enter the symptoms and the diagnosis. Once the diagnosis is done, the medical code of the condition observed can be entered. Next, the details of the drugs prescribed along with dosage, period, and dosage form can be entered in the medication section. If any lab tests are recommended, the details of the same can be captured in the investigation section. The details of the clinical procedure recommended can be captured in the procedure section. Lastly, if any therapy is being recommended, the details of the same can be captured in the rehabilitation section. Once the patient has had an encounter with a practitioner based on the diagnosis, the lab tests, therapies, procedure, or medications will be prescribed depending upon the patient's medical condition. Many times, the treatment prescribed is the same for many patients and adding data entry becomes a repetitive task and the doctor's time is consumed. Instead, we have an option to pre-configure these frequently used items in a treatment plan template. During the patient encounters, all these items can be filled automatically and can be updated on the fly if required. Let's see how we can create a treatment template plan. Navigate to the treatment plan template from the awesome bar and click on Add Treatment Plan Template. First, let's give this template a name and add a medical department where this plan will be frequently used. A set of conditions like complaints, diagnosis, gender and patient age range can be set on each plan template. This will help us in filtering care plans from the patient encounters. Next, we will see the plan item section. Here, the therapy type, clinical procedure template and lab test template items can be configured. When applying a treatment plan template from the patient encounter, these items will be filled automatically. Lastly, a set of drugs along with dosage, duration and form can be configured here. After filling up all the required details, click on Save. Now that we have configured the treatment plan template, let's see how to use this template. Navigate to a patient encounter and click the Get Applicable Treatment Plans button in the Encounter Impression section. Now, we will have to select the required plan template and press the Get Items button. All the pre-configured items should be filled out now. We can also update the filled items if required. This brings us to the end of the third chapter in our healthcare management course. I hope this helped you understand consultation management using ERP Next. 
You can read more about ERP Next Healthcare on docs.erpnext.com. In the next chapter, we will discuss lab management. Thank you.